This is The Collection. Now your host, The the Boat, Brad Gilmore. And he joins me right now. We're talking about air. Uh, the story of how Michael Jordan got his famous basketball shoe. The movie is in theaters right now. The man who plays Peter Moore, Peter Moore, joins me on the show right now. Matthew Mayer. Matthew, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm happy doing. Friday. Happy Friday. I'm doing well. First off, I gotta say the movie is sensational. It's probably my favorite movie I've seen all year long. I know the critics love it. How do you feel about all the the adulations that y'all are getting from this film? It feels great. I mean, it was completely, you know, I had no expectations. I mean, I, you know, I got the call to be in the movies, um, and I just walked on the set, and we had, like, a great time shooting it, and it was not something that I had been, like, expecting to be doing. Uh, Honestly, I got a call, like, six weeks before they shot. We'd love you to be in this movie. Like, it all came together very quickly. And then once we got on the set, it was like very, everybody was like having a great time, relaxed, very excited. And when you're working on a a project like that, you don't really have any expectation or I didn't have any expectation about like what was going to happen to it or how people were going to respond. I was just like, oh, this is great. You know how lucky I am to be here. And so unlike other projects that I've worked on where I'm like, oh, I hope this works out or you know, where you got a lot of, like, hope invested in it. With this, it was just, you know, uh, what a what a fun time. And so now that it's, like, taking off, I'm like, wow. I, you know, honestly, I'm just really happy for, for Ben. Um, you know, he's worked, he worked so hard, and, he, you know, he put everything into this movie, and and I think he's, get, he's getting the sort of credit he deserves, honestly. Yeah, the movie, the direction of the movie, the way the movie flows. I mean, it's the fastest two hours I've ever spent in a movie theater. It just kind of zooms right by, and you're so satisfied by the end of it. How much of the story were you aware of before you became a part of it? Obviously, in sneaker culture and Michael Jordan, historians know the names Peter Moore and and all the other cast that we saw or all the other characters that we saw in the film. How much of it, though, did you know? You know, uh, uh, just about as much, I, along with much of the country, binge-watched uh, The Last Dance, mm-hmm. the ESPN documentary, during during lockdown. And so, actually, I did remember the story of the Nike. Like, they sort of touch on it a little bit. Um, and so, when I went back to research Peter, um, well, after I got the part, I was like, oh, yeah, this guy. Oh, interesting, yes. Uh, so I, I, I was, I, by happenstance, aware. And also, like, I was in high school in the 80s. So I remember the Air Jordan and the Spike Lee commercials and and all that. Like, I was the target audience in many ways. I mean, I was too nerdy to wear Air Jordan. <laughs> but I remember when they, like, exploded onto the scene. Um, it was like about the time that both me and Ben and Matt, we were all in high school. So there's that element too. Like we were young, we were young, like teenagers or pre-teenagers when this movie was sort of unfolding. And so I think that that sense of like nostalgia for the music in that moment, like that's another thing that I feel like Ben and Matt sort of bring to it, you know? Oh, I, I agree. You know, my actually, I rec- I saw this movie about a week ago, and I recommended it to a lot of people, and people who were of the time in the 80s were like, man, the break room is exactly what the break room was like for me. Just like small things like that, the nostalgia yeah. of a car phone in the 1980s of it all um, yeah. is, is, is a big aspect to the movie. But what, So you said you did research on Peter Moore. Is that kind of your approach because he was a real-life guy? You wanted to make sure you brought as much authenticity to it? Or do you read the character on the page and try to interpolate how this guy would be? You know, I'm more character on the page guy uh, in my process because I feel like that's actually what you're doing is the script. The script and the people you're working with, um, and particularly with a movie like this, uh, you know, it's not the Peter Moore biopic or even the Sugi Vaccaro, who who Matt Damon plays. Mm -hmm. It's not really a biopic type of movie. It's more like gathering these events to sort of 
who is inspired by true events and these characters inspired by two real people to tell a particular type of story. Uh, this was actually the first time I ever played somebody in real life. Um, and unfortunately, he pa he passed away about a week before um, I was offered to part. So I, I never had an opportunity to, to talk to him. But ultimately, um, you know, I did do a lot of research naturally because you, you every time you start something, uh, every time you get a part, like uh, you're always like, what do I do now? You know, I learned the lines, and hmm, you just sort of end up doing a, a lot of random research, a lot of which. Doesn't, and you don't end up even using it's just a way of like getting your mind thinking about what you have to do but so I watched a lot of documentaries and read a lot of books and articles and and but when I got on set actually um and you know Peter Moore's a genius like he designed the Air Jordan then he went on and he designed like the Adidas logo he had a big mind but he's actually like a really like down-to-earth regular guy um Who's like a collaborate? Who's a collaborator? And really, was just sort of creating design, design to like sell products, you know, and and design to be popular. So there was that that balance, that mix. That thinking about that was very helpful. Because like on the one hand, he's an artist, but on the other hand, he's a very he, the things he has to make are very practical and they have to appeal to a wide range of people. That's like the whole point of his job. And uh, that really intrigued me. And then when I got on to, and there's dialogue in the movie about that. And uh, then when I got on to set, you know, Peter Moore in life, he wears like turtlenecks, he's like clean shaving, he sort of looks like a, sort of, uh, a Steve Jobs, not really, but like that kind of style, that kind of like Northern California style. And, but I showed up on set with like a huge beard, which I intended to shave and these sort of big ideas. And Dan was like, I love the beard. Keep the beard. <laughs> and the costume designer, Charlize, was like, try on these sweaters and these, like, leather pants. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> wow. And it was, like, this completely new idea of this, like, new character of this guy who's both, like, a, a suburban dad in the Pacific Northwest but who has a very specific – style and point of view and who sort of spends all day thinking about work and also someone who is going through a midlife crisis by the way as he said in the movie so it, it, it really the thing that was the most the biggest draw for me is really just the character that that Alex the screenwriter and Ben and Matt and Charlie and the production designer had all created and just sort of stepping into that and giving that life I mean so much work on the character had actually been done before I even arrived. And the work was so good. I was like, oh, these ideas are so much better than any ideas that I brought to it. I'm just going to sort of step in and do it. And so it, 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 was the easiest, it was really one of the easiest jobs I've ever had. Well, well, you know what? Easiest job you ever had, but it is the best movie that's come out this year. I mean that sincerely. It is air. It's in theaters right now. Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Chris Tucker, Viola Davis, and Matthew Mayer. Uh, Matthew, thanks so much for joining me on the show, and congrats again on a great movie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.